Oh dear. Another day, another anti-Semitism scandal from the left, this time in the ultra-woke Guardian newspaper, where Martin Rosen, the cartoonist, appears to echo deeply anti-Semitic tropes about the physical features of Jewish people and references to money that you might have seen in 1930s German propaganda. Here it is, and we've zoomed in to the offending part of the cartoon. I'll show you the whole image shortly. If you're listening on GB News Radio, let me tell you, it's a depiction of Richard Sharp, the outgoing BBC chairman, who I understand is Jewish. In this cartoon, he's holding a box that contains a blood-sucking octopus. So, the Goldman Sachs reference linking Jews to banking, the caricatured features, the pig's head and the tentacles, all of this imagery is potentially deeply offensive to Jewish people. It lies about their heritage, perpetuates dangerous myths and brings back shocking echoes of the past. Now, Martin Rosen is a talented guy, and I'm hoping that these unfortunate parallels were unintentional. But that itself is a concern because it suggests that anti-Semitism among some parts of the left isn't even conscious. Now, in the end, I think an artist, a comedian or a political satirist should put their work out there and be judged by it and have it debated from all sides. This guy should not be fired. Not in the way that the highly talented Bob Moran was fired for daring to question the COVID narrative with stunning and hilarious imagery like this. Look at that justification for lockdowns. An empty box. We've completely run out, says Matt Hancock to Boris Johnson. So truly horrific, though it is, I don't think this latest controversial cartoon by The Guardian's Rosen should be pulled. Why? Well, it's on the grounds of free speech. But it's a timely reminder that the so-called anti-racists who populate the pages of papers like The Guardian are arguably anything but. For these virtue signaling hypocrites who see racism everywhere except where it is not, it would seem they are exactly that of which they accuse everyone else. The hypocrisy is truly shocking.